Today is day nine of the 12 days of Christmas cookies. Today we're going to be doing eggnog snickerdoodles. Very Christmassy type of deal. Um, anyway, let's see how they turn out. This is the same book that we did the um, Greek honey cakes from. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it to you. It's terrible. So I wasn't paying attention, so let's see if this is any better. I've read this recipe three times, so let's see if we get it. So first you want to get your flour mixture together. In here is two and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of cream of tartar, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then you whiskey whiskey. In your mixer, you want to put in 16 tablespoons of butter. I don't understand the mathematical thingamajig of that. If you want to put 16 tablespoons of butter in there, you just put in a cup, because that's the same thing. So, we're going to do it the way the book says, because I don't want to mess it up. So, we're going to try that. Uh... Let's have some fun. Get your tablespoon and scoop the crap out of your butter. Unsalted butter. Soften. Not margarine. I don't know why they want 16 scoops. Okay, whatever. So touch your butter. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost there, eleven, twelve. 13. Uh oh. Mom's home! Fifteen. Sixteen. Hi. Okay, so I have to make this a really fast video because people just came home and they're hungry. Um, sixteen tablespoons of butter. I don't know. Sixteen tablespoons of butter and plus a cup. And a half of sugar and to beat it. Yeah. It says beat it until it's fluffy. Three to six minutes. It doesn't normally take me that long, but whatever you say, book. Perhaps when they say fluffy, this is what they mean. I do my best. To your fluffy sugar and butter. Add two eggs. And a teaspoon and a half of rum extract. Or perhaps the real thing if you're feeling adventurous. Yeah. Sounds like ice cream. Beat it up. While you're beating your mixture, reduce it to a low speed and slowly add your flour mixture in. This dough seems really sticky to me. Just, just saying. Just saying. Take your tablespoon, roll it into a ball, and put it on your tray about two inches apart. So here's my first tray of 12. Um, it says that it does 26, or no, 48 cookies. So I'm going to do four trays of 12, but you don't need to see all that. So it says, take the bottom of a measuring cup and squish your cookie until it's a half an inch thick thickness. It also says to grease it, but who has, who has time to listen to instructions? I know, I sure as hell don't. There you go. Squished cookies. So you pop these in the oven at 400 degrees for 
eight to 10 minutes rotating halfway through. So yeah, we'll see you in 10 minutes. Okay, so this is what they look like. Very nice, yes. So in here, I have a teaspoon of, no, half a teaspoon of nutmeg and half a cup of uh, powdered sugar. Take a some and you put it in. And you do a sprinkle, sprinkle. Before you serve them. See? Oh, I can see that. Ah, that's pretty. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. I, uh, never had eggnog before. And I've, um, I don't know what a snickerdoodle is. But these are very nice. <laughs> Not too sweet. Nice mouthfeel, I don't know. Tastes a little eggy, maybe that's what eggnog is. I don't know. They're pretty good, and I think they turned out just as the book said they were going to do. So, that's, that's good on this book. They redeemed themselves slightly. Anyway. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eggnog snickerdoodles, mint chocolate chip ice box cookies, rosemary cornmeal shortbread, orange chocolate softies, cranberry drop cookies, chocolate bombers, the but can agree, honey cakes, and a buttery gingerbread man. Thanks for watching, guys. I have to go make dinner now. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, peoples.